we can develop the thermometer using gas also right if we use gas then irrespective of the type of the gas if gas is with low density then it will show the same type of behavior it implies that at constant volume the change in pressure or at constant pressure change in volume right so this type of behavior that will be almost same for all the ideal gases but which type of gases are considered as ideal gases so the gases which obey the ideal gas equation are the ideal gases so now let's derive the ideal gas equation now see if we take the gas which one is with low density and if its temperature is kept constant one then experimentally we can observe this thing the pressure of the gas inversely proportional to its volume or we can write at constant temperature for the gas with low density pressure into volume pv that is constant and this is called boyle's law okay then after for the gases with low density if pressure is kept constant then we can observe experimentally this thing volume of the gas directly proportional to the temperature of the gas or we can write v by t that is constant and this is called charles law so collectively now we can write pv by t that is constant pv by t that is constant now if pressure and temperature is kept constant then we can observe this thing volume of the gas depends on the amount of gas means if amount of gas is increased then volume of the gas increases suppose we keep volume and temperature of the gas constant then we can observe this thing pressure of the gas also increases with increase in the amount of gas so we can say this thing in this equation pv by t equal to constant this right hand side that depends on the amount of gas now amount of gas is taken in terms of number of moles of gas okay so we can say this thing pv by t that proportional to mu the number of moles of gas so here we introduce the proportionality constant that is r so we can write pv by t that is equal to mu into r where r that is the universal gas constant and its value that is 8.31 joule per mole kelvin so we can write pv that is equal to mu rt and this particular equation is ideal gas equation clear to all of you now irrespective of the type of gases all the ideal gases obey this relationship now suppose here we prepare the graph of pressure versus temperature for the different gases by keeping their volume constant so we can observe this thing as temperature increases pressure also increases linearly and we can observe this thing at 0 degree celsius 
each each gas have some pressure but if these graphs are extrapolated it implies that extended in opposite direction means on negative side then we can observe this thing all the graphs intersect the temperature axis at minus 273.15 degree celsius so this is the temperature for which for all the gases the pressure becomes zero so this particular temperature that is called absolute zero temperature that is called absolute zero temperature and this absolute zero temperature that is considered as zero for kelvin scale lord kelvin developed this particular scale okay now the relationship between kelvin and degree celsius that is given as per this equation temperature in kelvin that is equal to temperature in degree celsius plus 273.15 yeah so this one is absolute zero now here three important points for the temperature scale one that is absolute zero another point that is ice point and third one that is a steam point right so temperature for all these three points in different temperature scales are just given here so if you remember it without using equation directly you can use these values now absolute zero point so in kelvin scale it is zero kelvin in degree celsius scale it is minus 273.15 degree celsius and on fahrenheit scale we can write that is minus 459.69 degree fahrenheit then ice point on temperature scale that is 273.15 kelvin on degree celsius scale it is 0 degree celsius on fahrenheit scale it is 32 degree fahrenheit and steam point on kelvin scale that is 373.15 kelvin on degree celsius scale it is 100 degree celsius and on fahrenheit scale it is 212 degree fahrenheit clear to all of you